While the nursing shortage is still affecting hospitals nationwide, many hospitals have decided to start bringing in foreign educated nurses. Here are the 10 steps and things that you need to know to become a foreign educated nurse in America. Welcome everyone to the Mama Nurse channel. I'm Vanessa and here we discuss all things nursing, motherhood, and lifestyle. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any uploads. I currently work PRN at two different hospitals and two different hospital systems and both systems are bringing in foreign educated nurses in order to help fight this nursing shortage. If you are a foreign educated nurse looking to work in the US, here are the 10 steps that you need to follow. Number one, you must meet the educational requirements. This would be your schooling and your actual degree. Number two, there is a foreign educated nurse course that must be completed. This is similar to the clinical rotation at school in which you would have to complete a certain amount of hours in a classroom setting, as well as a certain amount of hours in a clinical setting, shadowing or being observed by a registered nurse. Number three, depending on your country of origin, you may be required to pass a English proficiency test. Your results will be sent directly to the board of nursing in the state that you choose. Number four, you will be required to take and pass the NCLEX RN exam. You will take this exam for your intended state of employment and it will cost you about $200 or so plus any foreign fees. Number five would be getting your credentials checked. This portion is lengthy and costly. They are gonna check all your nursing school transcripts and education. There are many different companies that can be used for this portion of the process. And some states require specific companies. So I recommend doing your research on the specific state that you intend to be employed in. Number six, now it's time to find a nurse recruiting agency or a US-based employer. He note here, it is much easier and a smoother process for foreign educated nurses to work directly with a staffing recruiter or agency rather than working directly with the hospital. Staffing agencies and recruiters know exactly what is needed when it comes to foreign educated nurses. When it comes to the hospital system, this isn't their specialty. They are used to travelers and staff employees. So a better option might be to use a staffing recruiter or agency. In short, they have more experience. Number seven, you would need to obtain your work visa or your nursing employment visa. For this, you may get a permanent or a temporary visa, whichever you choose. Number eight, now it's time to find your RN role. Start looking on those job boards. Number nine, once you and your family secure a role, now it's time to move into your new home. And number 10, now will be the time to sign your contracts. Hospitals or staffing agencies, your program will typically have either a yearly commitment or an hour's work commitment. Make sure you know the difference. I'm currently working with a nurse and her hourly requirement is about 6,800 or so hours in order to complete her required contract. Just some notes here, you must be a registered nurse or an ARNP in order to qualify to be a foreign educated nurse in the US. You must have more than two years of experience in a working role plus a four year degree. You cannot have committed any crimes. You must have sponsorship from a nursing agency. These laws and requirements do change. For any and all updated information in regards to foreign educated nurses, please speak with a staffing agency or recruiter or an immigration lawyer for all of the current requirements. If you are a foreign educated nurse, what state do you plan to work in? Comment down below. As always, I hope this information was beneficial to you. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
And until next time, all love. Thank <music> you.